today's vlog with a little bit of Anaya, who um was born. Are you okay? You're choking. Yeah. Who was born the day um, we started work on the house? Um. So Hash is now six months old. It's just amazing how we've um how she's grown with the whole project. Oh, where's the water coming from? The water machine on. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. We're having to go over some old grounds again, unfortunately, because uh, when we put these joists in, joists in, when Chris did them, he cut them too short. So uh, when it comes here, they should have been hanging over the edge, but he cut them short. So what I'm now having to do, I'm cutting, cutting the bridge blocks, and uh, I'm going to have to get some more of these wood. And uh, put them through here, like so. So bring at this end, and so they, they will have an overhang on the other side. And the purpose for it is that when we do a finished roof, it will have an overhang of roughly about 200 millimeters over the top. So that's where the guttering and uh, finishing patience is going to be. So at the moment, we've got nothing to put that onto. So. Yeah, so that's uh, Chris's bodge up, another one of his bodge up, along with a lot list of few. Yeah, so uh, I've managed to cut them now, and uh, I'm just going to have to go and get, get some wood and this is a bit wobbly now, it's alright, really, and then uh, bolt them and carry on. Can't wait till the skylight goes in there. Yeah. Can't wait. We just, I just thought of it. From their window, through the skylight, they'll see right into our kitchen. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh. Scaffolding's going today. Well, actually we need it. If they're, not a late, if they're late by a day or two, that'll be good. So I'm not going to really chase it up if they're not here today. Okay. Yeah. But it'll okay. be good to get it because then we can start cleaning up. Yeah. Plus also another thing he forgot to do was uh, this insulation board that you can see here, uh, he's left them about short, about you know quite a lot short, about that much short. So I've just cut some new insulation. Abdul's up there with serious rage right now. He's trying to extend the joist that he was talking about earlier, <laughs> and he's got no space to work, and the scaffolding's in the way, and he's really, really angry. I've got this new um, selfie stick which we saw, I saw somebody using, some YouTubers using them when we went to Modern Tate Gallery um, a couple of days ago and I just thought, oh my god I need one of those, so then when we went to Hamleys they had them there and I thought, Maya was like, I really want one, so we got one and I really like it because look, I can do all this now, I always wondered how other people do it and now I know. It's been ages since um, I've actually done a, a vlog. I think I've done little walkabout things and stuff, but not actually showed what's going on. Um, I said I'll show you the bathroom as well. I'm actually in the bathroom, which is why my voice might sound a bit echoey. And um, it's done about as, as much as done as done can be for us right now. Um, it looks pretty perfect if you look around. It looks like the hotel room feeling that I wanted. The only difference is um, it's not 100% finished and um, because we had, I, I said this, I think I said this the other day as I was walking, the guys work too hard, their, their boss makes them work from very early in the morning till quite late in the afternoon, so they work from 8 o'clock in the morning till 6, 6.30 and they're here all that time, they take a little bit of a break and I think they work really, really well in the morning, they work really hard all day. But when it comes, excuse my horrible nails, but when it comes to um, about two, three o'clock, they start really lagging. And you can understand, I would be the same. They do physical manual labor and um, it, that must hurt on the body. That, that is tough. I know when I do hairstyles, I get to about the third hairstyle and I'm standing there like this the whole time doing the hair and then my legs start to feel quite tight the muscle packs up and I can carry on going but once I get home and I sit down I can't get up again and it's really hard when you've got hairstyles to do or clients to do face throughout the day 
But um, yeah, it's taken me ages to clean up in here. And I really just wanted to show you how it looks. So the look that I wanted in here was like a hotel room, a hotel bathroom style um, feel to this whole room, if that makes any sense. I wanted it clean. I wanted it quite neutral. The door hasn't been, it's been clean, but it's been outside. It's got bits of cement on it and we're replacing the door. But we got um, a very slim line shower head and everything is just perfect. I know I've shown all of this before, but we've just kind of finished it with trimmings now. So a black and white towel usually hangs there. The sink is beautiful, but sadly it got scratched. Um, we didn't have a sink for the kitchen one day. And let me just zoom in here. Um, can you see? I'm gonna like just flip that around, I think. So these are the scratches here that we've got um, from when we didn't have a sink recently. And um, after Zaha came in here on my telling him to, to to clean a pan and I didn't think that, oh my God, it's going to scratch. We've also got loads of scratches in here as well, which is no good, but you can't see them. I think maybe you can just kind of catch them around here. Hmm. And this waterfall um, tap is lovely, but very, very noisy. Like when you're in the room and it's night and after she's in the bathroom once I've gone to sleep, because he gets in very late, um, it's just very, very noisy. I told you about this lovely mirror. I kind of got it years and years and years ago. And it's been sitting on my wardrobe and it's just perfect in here. It's supposed to light up, but if I press this, there's no connection. Just like up there. Where are we? Up there. That's our ceiling light. <laughs> and this is our fan, our air conditioning unit. So yeah, those things still need to be finished. And I'm really happy with the whole shower area. Um, they're not happy, they wish for me to hang a piece of fabric here so that the water doesn't fall out, but I'm like, I'm not bothered, I'll just have a towel and um, any water can be caught up by that. It's um, quite a pain, we've got a lot of hard water in our area, so we do get a lot of scuff marks, um, hard water marks everywhere when the water dries, so we do use a squeegee to kind of after ourselves to plant and clear up and to make sure that no water dries on the tiles or on that um, piece of glass. This glass has got a proper thorough clean for the first time today, um, but it is notoriously difficult to keep clean, um, especially when you've got builders and they're in here all the time sort of cleaning up before they leave and it's just like, oh, you know, six o'clock and you've spent all day cleaning and then they're they want to clean themselves up in here and leave a trail of mud and concrete behind. So um, there is a lot of scratching on that shower panel. I'll come, come round. So the silicone work here was a little bit sloppy and as a result it's picked up some of the dirt. Um, and it seemed to have got silicone everywhere. So there's bits of silicone there, then there's another bit sort of there, and then um, all around that corner there. It's just not clean looking at all. And then there's scratches on it too in, in various places. There's more marks here, which I don't know whether that, if that's masonry paint from when I've just been painting outside or not, but it's, it's still at that phase of getting um, properly and thoroughly clean. Um, I'm really happy with our taps, but they're not set right. So the up button is not in the up position. The off, the off, this is off right now, but you can see the off thing is right there on the very top. Um, so we need to get that looked into, but it all looks very clean, just the way I wanted it. So overall, I'm really happy with that. Um, the bathroom, the windows, everything is, is quite nice. Um, everywhere else, this is my messy bedroom. Like, can you believe that? I'm going to move all that, move the bed to the other side at some point. Um, okay, you thought my room was messy. Look at this. But then you can't blame him because Zach is still sleeping here. He had to move back into his room because it got very cold in his room. The roof hatch has been done. It's kind of the ceiling that you're looking at now. So it's just boarded up there. But as you come round into the new extension, 
all we've got still <laughs> is this so if I walk towards Zeh's room you can see that this is what he was sleeping under and yeah he kind of made friends with a fair few spiders so he can't really sleep in this room <laughs> it's got my packing envelopes in here and all them over there in there are my hair pads for hair styling I've got them by bulk um, because I sell so many so um, it's been a bit impossible to get anything done because um, there's just no plan to be honest there's no money so there's no plan I'm already using my office it's really naughty of me I'm going to walk to the window and then look back so you can see so I put Zahi's old desk in the corner and I've been packing and popping things into envelopes there and then I've got a little bit of jewellery. I actually don't have much jewellery. It's quite scary. It's um, it's going quite quickly. And I've got hardly any bridal sets now. I've just got just a few, few pieces left and some earrings. So um, I kind of haven't been ordering so much because of the chaos here. Not being able to take photographs of new stuff. I've got things that um, have arrived months ago. And I've only just popped them on. As soon as I pop them on, they've just gone. And I'm like, oh, why didn't I do that before? Because that was really silly. And I could have sold more and bought more um so i've been i've got all my packing stuff here um outfits are in those two boxes and then our shoes are here poor old money look at her sniffing her own bottom there in a very weird way <laughs> so yeah it's a little bit mad in here um the the plan was that we'll try and get this airtight get the ceiling boards on the floorboards are just put down they're not even nailed down so you can't jump on them because you'll end up downstairs and in, in the kitchen um, so there's loads to do I got up this morning and had a really big strop because um, I'll show you why actually I had a bit of a strop let me just go to my bedroom I'll show you my but I don't record in my bedroom that's like my private place but I'm letting you in my bedroom now and it's always very messy so sorry about that but this is why I had a bit of a strop this here is the heater for the bathroom and this is another thing that should have been put into um, the bathroom and I, I just looked at that this morning I said to Abdul this is just knocking about in the bedroom it's going to get scratched like everything else that we've bought we paid so much money for a high-end bathroom and it looks really shabby because of the scratches and things on it because they've not taken care there was no need to open that if they weren't going to fit it we've had every excuse on under the sun for it not being fitted the connection's not right when they did the pipe work they did the um the the gap between them uh the the pipe the copper pipes was not right for this heater and then they were blaming us with the heaters the wrong size blah 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 and we said no look this is the paper you gave us this is what you said and they're like oh well okay it's not a big problem we just need to put a connection in so we're like okay you, you, he goes no problem i'm going to do that and it hasn't happened so this morning i looked at that and i got really 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 upset because it dawned on me that Abdul's vlog in the bathroom, he introduced it as, Hi, it's the 1st of July. And what are we now? 17th of August. Six, seven weeks since we started the bathroom and it's not finished. Scaffolding's still up. We That was supposed to go gone last week. Abdul gave them the call to go. And they haven't turned up. Abdul's painting the house. And I had to go at him yesterday because... Um, I had said to him, he's done nothing all week, we've had great weather all week, and typically you, as soon as it pisses down with rain, that's when you're going to come out here and do some work. And of course it's been pissing with rain, and he's painting the house. He has no idea that I... <laughs> he's, he knows I'm stressed with him today. So that's kind of my vlog. This is my kitchen. Up close, my kitchen. My dirty sink. They don't like doing dishes. Don't ask me to do dishes, please. You're going to leave comments and say, do your dishes. No, I'm not going to do the dishes. I think that should be the children's job because I've done loads today. I spent two hours cleaning that bathroom so I could do this vlog. Messy living room. Messy room I used to vlog in. And this is my still kitchen. I'm still using that. Well, using it in my way. I don't really do any cooking. This will be my mother-in-law's room. It's going to be very dark down here, I think. 
um, and that worries me a lot because the windows were not right anyway to begin with and look how dark this downstairs ensuite is going to be that's ridiculous it's very very dark so yeah that's where we're at we still haven't broken through um, here because there's still no skylight on there's still no flat roof done it's still as is so I'd love to just tilt you that way so you can see up I'm gonna get down here let me just see if I can so do loving this selfie stick oh my god look at that so that's looking up at our skylight and the living room um, the living room roof that's basically how it is and you can see the how the office is done and then if you look towards there it's still outside it's not inside that bit yet so um, that's basically the biggest problem we're having right now is that we're getting cold because the cold is coming through here and it's going up um, through the floorboards on that level and then upstairs it's coming through the roof the reason so, I was really upset is because this heater here was removed in order to get this fridge into the hallway where it is now from the kitchen and I just thought it's really cold we can't put the heating on because of that heater being thrown out in the garden um, the day that the fridge was moved the whole system's been drained there's no central heating whatsoever and madam's trying to get in on my vlog <laughs> I haven't let her vlog actually. Well, you know, she said she wanted to do it. I haven't let her do it. Every time she does one, I'm like, nah, I don't like this video. You're not doing it. So she's kind of <laughs> needs to do Hi. something. Have you put your bands on your braces? No. Can you do that now? I'm a good mommy. My daughter listens to me. I've got one of those foamy bump it things in my head I've got to show you right this is so funny so anyway going back to the heater it's cold because I'm running it's cold not because not, not I'm running but it's cold because the roof is exposed the ceiling is open and it's cold because the cold's getting in through the downstairs but yeah I was telling you about these bump it things that I've got in my head and Maya's run off it's like a black foamy thing wedge and it's quite good because it's looks quite good but the instructions that came with it, look at that. I have no idea what it says. I, 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 I'm just at a loss as to like the English here. The portion of the former hair pickup and the remaining hair comb. Number two, the product gently in the pickup before the hair root position. Then put up the front by hand through the way natural tile products. Finally, in order to achieve the perfect fine hair of effect. <laughs> so that's how you do it. It's from China. Bless them. That is my vlog for the day. I shall see you later. Oh my God, I can't tell you how excited I am. I've just got off the phone with the one and only Bavini Geravera. She is a very famous henna artist one that I've grown up admiring her work and as soon as I became a henna artist I went and bought this sticky little book this is her henna book one of the very few that were around when I started henna um, and this is the very 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 first book that I got um, as a henna artist I, I just I'm just like I can't believe I just got off the phone with her and we've been whatsapping each other and she's actually related to my Barbie, which is my sister-in-law, my cousin's wife. Um, she's her cousin, I think, or sister-in-law, something like that. And, oh my God, just to speak to her um, and be absolutely in awe of her work. So I'm really, really excited. My heart's pounding and her WhatsApp messages are coming through and I don't believe it. So I just wanted to share that with you. Can you believe it? Oh my God.